So the other day was my brother-in-law's birthday, right? And him said he want some dinner. <clears throat> so go to the store and grab a couple of pounds of oxtail and took them home, cleaned them up and began to season these up, right? And as I see here, I just added some chopped onions to that. Right there, I added some thyme and I'm here cutting up some scotch bonnet pepper, right? Now I used about a half of a pepper right here. Now you don't have to use so much if you don't like the spice. Now I'm also adding some scallion into this because you know that's a must, right? Also, um, how may I say? Pimento seeds, right? We have to definitely add some pimento seeds in there and I added some all-purpose seasoning, some garlic powder, right? And also some pimento seasoning here. Yes, this is like some blended pimento sauce, which is really good. I also added some... Um, <coughs> I also added some uh, garlic to this in a man. Yes, some chopped garlic. And also some more of that jerk seasoning. Yes, man. And I know it may look like a lot of seasoning, but this was a lot of meat. Right? This was like 8 pounds of oxtail here. And, uh, you know, it took it just nicely. Also, I was making some gungu rice and peas, you know. So, went ahead and check on that. Wasn't quite ready yet. And went outside and started the searing process, right? Because you know that go. So as you see, I've tried to get the seasoning off of them as best as possible because we don't want to put those in right now or else they just going to burn in the oil, right? And we're going to save all that for later. So anyways, get it a proper stir as usual. And while, you know, this was this was looking nice and lovely, seared off, went inside, grabbed some water and, you know, went ahead and just pour on top. And if you realize, I didn't really submerge them deep in the water, you know, just, you know, because I wanted to simmer nicely. So I decided to make a work on some pepper shrimp as usual, right? And so I chop up some garlic, right? They already added some pepper and scallion and onion. That was just some garlic powder, right? Some slap your mama right here. Along with some um, Cajun and also doing some jerk season over this, right? You can do this however you like it. But, you know, we like a lot of spices in ours, and you know, because all these different flavors bring a different kind of vibe to it right but you have no way of doing it because uh, don't salt the food so anyways the peas was ready at this point in time you know so i'm gonna go ahead and add some coconut milk to that right a nice dose of coconut milk and also some of this dry rub that i've been working on for a while right yes man couple spoon of that get it a stir again and yeah left that to um go and simmer down while we do a little quick cleaning up right because remember cleanliness is next to godliness I decided to make also work on some pepper sauce, you know, man. Yeah, man, because when we're eating, we like to have a lot of pepper sauce, you know. So, you know, went ahead and skew up some scotch bunny pepper until I was looking something like this, right? And then turn around, <coughs> went out the door, got to check on this oxtail, and as you see, they are bubbling and going away, right? Give this a couple stir as usual because we don't want it to stick. And you know, cover that down and began to roast off these peppers, you know, man. Yeah, man, get them a nice little char up, you know. And once they were looking something like this, that was good enough for me. So I went inside and you know, started to pound these out. Yes, man. Right, once we got it to a consistency like this, all right, that's what I was looking for. So I went ahead and added a little bit of salt to this and also some vinegar, right, with a little bit of brown sugar. Now, off camera, I did add. A squeeze of lime which really had that sauce popping right went back out the door and as you see the water damn near dry out of the oxtail at this point in time and when you're cooking with low water always make sure say you know you keep an eye on it because it's easy for burn added that rice to them peas and gave that a nice stir and you know this was pretty much looking good at this point in time right so cover that down and went back out the door and I mean, wouldn't tell the piece of cross is what take me right almost burn up the oxtail to raw till the fire end up blazing upon me when i was inside so the time that i was anticipating to check it the fire kind of speed that up while i'm inside but you know fortunately i was able to catch it quick enough throw some water upon it with the seasoning them when you know yes man that's why when you're cooking you have to keep a close eye on the pot in you know, the man very important Right, but this oxtail was coming together amazing, you know. Yes, man, this was a beautiful pot of oxtail I made. And you know, I've really made no oxtail in a long time, you know, man. Yeah, this is the first in a, in a while since I made some oxtail, maybe because of the price. But, anyways, mother in law made some potato salad, you know, man, and some veggies, you know. And as you see, this whole dish came together, you know. 
yes man i know it look like some real big box style but that's the vibe we're going for right and yeah naturally you know it's dinner time yeah man i'm a boy had a good time you know yes man he had a good time man yes and you know i also had a good time too but anyways you know let me know what you think and yeah man later Yeah, I'm going to look to see if any more in there. Did you look already? Yeah, but I'm going to get a more thorough look. I don't think any more was in there.